Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. Uh, I did turn down the volume again, because I still feel like the audio balance is really weird for this game. But even though it's quieter now, I think you can still hear the fighting sounds in the background outside the dojo. That's a neat touch. Oh yeah, also I um, have my new controller now, so I uh, can actually walk slowly now, if that is ever required in the game. So, And I also rebound the C buttons to um, the D-pad, so... Uh, while that should be, well, <laughs> oops, I can't fall off there. While that should be more, um, I don't know, more convenient or more less awkward than using the right stick for the C buttons, um, I'm also definitely going to forget about that. But we'll see. Yeah, uh, there might be another fight available here. Welcome to our dojo. For what purpose did you come? Uh, try the next round. It's time you fought the master himself. Okay, so not a double fight against Chen and Lee. To battle! Heck, cough. Okay, um, I guess we'll tattle first. No, oh, right. Uh, uh oh, already regretting my decision. One of the main reasons I rebound the, uh, the movement to the D-pad was because I hate, um, navigating menus with, uh, with a stick. I guess I'll see if I can get used to it. Or I might have to go back. This is the master. He owns the dojo, and he's the strongest member. Max HP 50, attack power 6. Yeah, okay, I feel like this is a little bit outside of my league for now. 50 HP is is uh, pretty rough. With one attack power? Well, we'll see. Well, one attack power that we have. I mean. If he's the best in the dojo, he must be pretty tough. Not necessarily, because the other two aren't that bad. Uh, I don't suppose we can disable him at all. Well, slight level you get there. Mm -mm, excellent move. Maybe we don't have to beat him? Nice. Wait. I only took five damage instead of six. Well, that's not gonna work out. I can do the math here. But at least we can go down swinging, I guess. Inflict as much damage as possible. Okay. Miraculously, I was able to defend again. I mean, I guess I might as well do that. Hmm. Excellent move. Well, thanks. I mean, there's literally nothing I can do here. I could heal, but... I wonder. Mario, I'm afraid I must finish you. Oh, yeah, I missed that one. Negative one HP. Well... Yeah, okay, it's not a game over. Hmm, you lack strength. You have skill, though. Please return here after you have trained some more. Okay, that's it, huh? Are we healed? Nope, not at all. Alright. Yeah, that certainly seems like... Well, I don't know. But no, um... I can... I could technically stock up on healing items, right? Like, I don't know what the best thing we can buy is. Even if it's uh, the shroom that that heals 10, and I don't know if those are for sale. I think they are not. Even then, that would work out, right? I mean, technically I could heal for 10, but I would get hit for 5 in the process. Then I could attack once, get hit for 5 more. Then I would heal, take 10 damage again. Does that work out? Even, even if it does, I wouldn't kill him within... Within uh, 10 turns, basically. No, 20 turns. Because I would only deal 40 damage in those. No, wait, that's not right. Technically. God, is my math off? I attack him. So, turn one. Mario attacks, deals 2 damage. Um, Goombario deals 2 damage. Either Goombario or, um, or Cooper. I guess it doesn't matter. So we deal 4 damage, he deals 5, then I'm at 10, then I attack again, that's 8 damage, he attacks, I'm at 5 hit points, I heal to full, uh, Gumbario deals 2 more damage, actually that would work out, wouldn't it? 
Am I crazy for thinking that? But um, that's only if we have access to super shrooms for, for sale. Because we only have one, of course. Right? God damn, I can't even... Uh, this is so awkward, having to use the stick to navigate the menu. Um, yeah, we have one super shroom and the others only heal for five, so obviously those are not going to work out. We have to have at least super shrooms. Hmm, interesting though. Uh, of course, things are... Are they going to change drastically if we get uh, a better attack from Mario? And yes, there are no super shrooms, that's what I thought. Um, that's also something uh, interesting. Um, by virtue of starting out with these super low numbers, especially... Oops, why do I keep pressing attack and instead of jump now? Um, yeah, by, uh, by virtue of starting with these uh, super low numbers, the, the super low attack of 1, um, that means that the first time... That was close. Uh, the first time we get any kind of attack upgrade, it is at least going to double Mario's attack power, right? That's uh, it's a curious... I find it curious. A uh, little quirk of, of this, yeah, I don't know, super low numbers, small numbers approach, which uh, I'm generally a fan of. Um, I tend to prefer the early game of RPGs where you, you know, start with super low numbers, uh, where, you know, the difference between, I don't know, uh, five attack and six attack makes a huge difference in how you can handle early game enemies. Try and avoid most of the fights here if I can. Um, yeah, but starting with one hit, with one attack power, or literally dealing one damage. Oops. There we go. Guess I'll get these guys both because they're easy and I don't know. I suppose they're not really worth more experience than other enemies, but I don't know. No real reason. But yeah. Obviously, we can only go to at least two attack power from here, and yeah, that is a 100% increase in, in damage we deal. Pretty crazy. But I assume it's going to happen eventually. Although it doesn't seem like uh, leveling up increases our attack at all, I'm guessing it will be through new shoes, <laughs> new boots. Yeah, okay, they're, they're also only worth two experiences. But... What I seem to remember. Leave me alone, guy. Don't you value your own life? There we go. Successfully lost that guy. Uh, we want to go... No, actually, we want to stay up here. The lower path was for the village. Right, in here. Right, that was the ambush. This time without any money. That's okay. Ah, uh, we got the stupid spiky guy in the back. I guess I can go for this and hope not to mess it up this time. Yeah, this time one was nice. I don't know why that failed that one time last, last episode. Okay, somehow messed that up. It's not really a hard timing or anything. get a flower back, but we might eventually. We, I mean, we will eventually. Oh, can we... Oh, wait, can we actually kick that? That might be the right height. Oh, yeah, may, I was thinking that it... Uh, oops, oops. Could be possible to uh, eventually get some sort of jump upgrade. Yeah, that works. But, um, yeah, I guess this... That's the trick. Just fine. In fact, whoops, forgot. Uh, we don't actually have to do that for this first enemy. That's fine. Um, yeah, shelters should work, right? It's just about jumping. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So he's actually a, a decent choice for these. In fact, whoops. In fact, he's obviously uh, the only choice as far as companions go. This Kumbari can only ever jump. I wonder if this whole upcoming section is actually designed about having Cooper out, or if the game already expects you to uh, switch companions, depending on the situation. Obviously we need him to even access the, 
fortress, so there's that. Okay, what is this? Thunderbolt. Lightning that strikes one enemy, attack power five. Can't carry anymore. That's unfortunate. I mean, I really don't see myself using that fright jar, honestly. But we also have two of these. Let's just lose the goon nut. It's okay. There, we kick that. That makes the bridge appear. As expected. Okay, flying Koomba. Ko Goomba? Ko Koopa? Koomba, yeah? Come on. Oh! These guys are fast. Turn around, please. I'm, I assume you can jump on him? Oh, man. Maybe it's better if I try to hammer him? Okay. That did get rid of his wings, at least. Hmm. Okay, experiment time, actually. Uh, let's get this guy to land first. Ah, and we did make him fall over, too. Okay. Ah, that does that deals direct damage, but it does not... Hmm, interesting. But it does not um, stun them. So technically... Kumbario is better for these guys. Because it allows us to keep more of them uh, crowd controlled at the same time. Let's see if we can get our flower points back for this one. Would be nice. Slowly creeping up on the next level up as well. I wonder what I'll increase. Really, anything is still very valuable. Of course, at some point in the game, if we level up high enough, each new level up is going to make less of a difference. But for now, well, each one is still going to add a significant amount of, well, not power, but I guess survivability in this case. Ooh, tough. Uh, I can't get any of the guys in the back, unless I use my last three flower points, all of my flower points, for a super shell, a power shell. I think that's what I'm gonna do, just to deal with this fight without taking any damage. Nice. That is satisfying. And we get... okay. A heart and a flower back, that's nice. What do we get here? Start please, alright. How many do we have? Uh, nine of them, okay. We could afford a few things with that, nice. Wasn't even really thinking about it, but oh my god. Okay, fights are definitely getting getting rough. Um, well, we have one flower point back, but we're definitely going to take some damage here, unless... Hmm. We have the sleepy sheep. I could use that. I could obviously also... Hmm, well, we only have these to restore FP. Of course, now I'm slightly regretting throwing away that leaf earlier. Or the, that nut. Hmm. Probably should have gotten rid of the pride jar. I don't know. Uh, could use one of these now. But that's not going to save us. Um, there are going to be more fights coming up, but I'm going to use the Sleepy Sheep here. I was going to maybe use it uh, in the boss fight, but I doubt that it actually works on them. It does seem to work pretty reliably. I mean, it says if it works, it puts enemies to sleep. Maybe that's, ju that's just to say that, you know, not all enemies are susceptible to being put to sleep in the first place. Like bosses, for example. But that it will always work on normal enemies. And attacking them does not wake them up. Which I guess is good to know. <sighs> that being said, uh, we're not going to get close to taking them all out before they wake up. And they also sleep with their shell up. Which is, you know, smart thinking, I guess, or not really thinking. It's just 
the way it works, but it does protect them, of course, even though they're stunned. So yeah, it's rough. Now they all wake up, but we get one more turn to... Well, actually, we can take out this guy and then still take out one of the spikies. Like so. I always find it fascinating how how limited the, you know, or as limited as the, the game mechanics are and your options are, but it's actually quite tactical. Certainly not as trivial as it may look at a glance. And these games, all they are very lighthearted, of course, and, you know, very silly and kind of, you know, childish looking, but um, they are definitely not trivial. Hmm. Huh. Okay, that wall there looks breakable, perhaps? Hmm. Interesting. I guess that's the sound Banner makes when hitting anything. Hmm. I wonder what we use there. Okay, what does the shell make, though? Okay, that's the same sound as well. Hmm. Guessing we need a better hammer for that one? Interesting. Ah, okay, that's what I was hoping for. And encounters are gonna... Uh-oh. Respawn. Please don't be the boss fight right away. Oh, there's the same one. Okay. But of course, this is also going to return. So we can... We could actually use this place to... to grind. I'm almost tempted to do that. I wonder. I wouldn't mind gaining another level before encountering the boss. But obviously... Or not obviously, but presumably, we'll have to uh, fight our way through the fortress first. Maybe we're going to encounter each one of them individually? Before we uh, encounter them all four at once? Whoa, Mario, what the... Uh, oh, we're in a world of hurt! Mario's here already! I gotta tell the leader! Red Koopa! Well, I mean, they're, they don't seem overly confident, honestly. Now that they're actually faced with their... Their nemesis, their doom. Well, we'll see how this goes. Hmm. Some empty shells just floating there. Okay, we we do have some some trash fights in here. It looks like. Okay. Ooh, bomb bombs. New enemy type. Um. Wait, how do I strategy change my mind. Mario. Obviously, I want to tattle that one. Okay, the bomb's gonna do something. Oops. Okay, they only deal one damage, so if I get the timing right, I can take them out. Let's see here. Or I can not take them out, I can um, avoid the damage. This is a bomb. Yes, I know. They're being forced to work here. Uh, temperamental. Bombs are pretty temperamental, and they get steaming mad when you attack him. Next HP, three. Okay, only three, so I should be able to take him out in one round. Power one. Hmm. Better not jump on him when they're angry, or they'll blow up in your face. In fact, stay away entirely. Attack him from a distance with items like hammers, or you could send in other things like shells. If they attack when angry, they'll charge in and explode, so you'd better take, uh, take care of them before they blow. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out how they really work. They obviously do attack, even when they're not angry. Nice. Hmm. With hammers from a distance. But hammer throw is not free, so... That seems like a... bad option. I guess I'll switch back to Cooper. And heed the game's advice and use his shell first. See how that works. Okay, that does make him angry, but now I should be able to take him out. Oh, he still explodes and deals damage. That's good to know. Hmm, it's rough. I was kind of hoping that maybe... Okay, nice. Fortress key. Uh, that maybe they would give up once the other enemies, or enemy in this case, is defeated. Because they're being forced to work here, and, you know... I don't know, maybe some of them are actually willingly working for Bowser. Or the Koopas, in this case. Uh, Fondersky, yes. Not much of a choice here. Oh boy. 
and I'm tempted to just avoid them? I feel bad for fighting them. Especially when they just like, literally explode. Oh, we can't jump there. So maybe I will get some kind of high jump eventually. Yikes. Oh my god, that sets off, huh? Well, in that case... Uh, actually, yeah, maybe I don't get damaged if I use the hammer, although I'm still pretty close up. Nope, yes? Okay, that works. So you do avoid damage that way. Good to know. But maybe I should actually leave him alone for this round, so he does not blow up. Right. Smart thinking. If I do say so myself. Yeah, here I don't have to do anything. Just blow up. Nice. Oh! Wow, that was rough, starting out right next to the, the other guy. Okay. Um, right, again. I mean, in what other game is skipping your turn um, a, a valid move, like, ever? It's just, I find that it's pretty, pretty rare that you really make use of, of all the options that you have in combat. In traditional JRPGs, for example. I mean, some games do a better job making you actually use all those various mechanics, at least sometimes, uh, than others, like thinking of some of the um, later Final Fantasy games where, you know, some bosses are, well, gimmicky, but also, you know, require very specific strategies. Kind of the same thing. Hey, green. Oh, I think we need that. Ha, let's see the great Mario get any farther now. Looks like we can just walk around behind the pillar. Yay, Mario! You, uh, don't try any... Uh, you'll still never find your way through this fortress. Um, it looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting! See ya! Okay. Oh, what? I saw the stars, but no one got the advantage. Interesting. Um, well, we'll handle this one. Just like any other similar fight, this should not pose any any danger. In fact, we should not take any damage here. That was not a successful attack. But that's okay. Um, yeah, we jump. Kill this one. Skip. Defend successfully. Uh, don't jump. Okay. Nope. Kinda wish that wasn't, um... Uh, the game wouldn't remember its cursor position. Normally, I'm... No, actually, I, I'm never really a fan of it. I, I tend to prefer when the game resets to the default position. Hmm. Okay, maybe we... Again, it's the same situation here. Um, I was gonna say that uh, I've seen a bunch of cracked walls at this point, obviously. Can we? Wait, oh, we can't. Really? Never mind then. Uh, so, in that case, uh, we might actually get the ability to blow, the wall, blow those cracked walls open. Or maybe something will just happen with the, the switch there. Okay. Check out you first. Ooh, two balls. I mean, that's. Still just as manageable. I just have to defend twice per round. Here so far seems pretty easy. No. I keep almost making the same mistake. But all only almost, you know. It's good enough, I guess. That seemed late, but it still worked, so it's all good. I wonder if all this talk about the bubbles being forced to work here was all just, you know. Oh, a pound log. Why, thank you. That's the first time we saw a fight actually drop a, a use item. Is that right? Wait, that guy walked out of here. 
What? Didn't the enemy walk straight out of inside that cage? Through here? Okay. Maybe they can do that and I just can't. Nope. Jesus. This is... Ah. Wow. I talked about it before, uh, how you, you're locked into your jump position, jump direction. Which is really awkward. That's what I never liked about the, the old school Castlevania games. Because I was really bad at dealing with it, I guess. Oh, see? Messed it up. Um, that's okay. You're in no danger as of yet. Whoops. Well, you might be now. There we go. And we level up! Nice! Okay, we get full heal, that's awesome. I guess I do have some badges to put on. Like, for example, getting the, the BP now would allow me to equip the health badge, which would at the same point at the same time raise my HP to 20. So the same effect as this, except it gives us an option to later on switch to a different badge. I could double my FP to 10, which obviously would increase my tactical possibilities uh, quite a bit. Yeah, each one of these is, is good. HP is the least tempting. Obviously, I have not increased flower points yet. And I guess leveling everything evenly is not the worst idea, probably. I'm assuming that it's balanced... Well, I mean, I, I have actually been wondering if it's possible, if it's viable, to never level HP, for example, and rely completely on avoiding damage. But as we've seen, some enemies have such high attack power that even if you defend, you can only ever defend, or at least for now, you can only prevent one point of damage per attack, even if the attack is preventable in the first place. So that's not going to save you later in the game, presumably, with enemies that just deal much more damage. So I wonder if it's possible to never level HP. Not that I'm going to do that. Obviously, I've already increased that. So yeah, I don't know. BP or FP? I'm tempted to go for more BP just because I like the idea of equipping more stuff. Well, that does allow us to equip this. Increasing our HP by 5. Um, I guess I have equipped this. Changes the sound effects when Mario's attacking. I... Honestly, completely forgot about this, and I can't say that I didn't notice anything. But that might just be my trademark unobservantness, in inobservancy. I don't know. Yeah, obviously we'll have to find a way. Oh, you know what? We're probably gonna free one of the captive bob bombs who's going to blow up walls for us. It seems extremely obvious now that I stopped for two seconds to think about it. So that's obviously what's going to happen. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. I need to focus more. That much seems obvious. Oh. Here's a chance for me to practice. Well, yeah, there's no way around it. I kind of basically have to endure one more full round without attacking them, or else... I'm also tempted to find out how bad it is when they when they blow themselves up. How much damage is that? It's gotta be more than one, right? Nah, I mean, there's really no reason to. If we can get out of this without taking any damage. We should probably try. Although, you know... Well, first of all, that can happen, and then we can always just walk out and heal outside. No. Timing is definitely different sometimes, right? the time it takes for the gauge to fill. Although, 
always seems to be slower for Mario than for Shell Toss. Hmm. That was about the same speed, but it was definitely faster before. Or I'm just going completely crazy. Which is possible. We got nothing from that! Really? Because that was a... Because that fight was supposed to give us this. We didn't get anything for it. Okay, we can only shoot that horizontally. That's what I thought, but we can also actually jump on it. What am I thinking? My god. Oh boy. Okay, slight hiccup. And the stairs are getting lowered. Oh, okay. Wait. Hold on. I didn't even try going up the stairs. But I'm guessing that wasn't an option? Uh-oh. I really hope there wasn't something up there. Hmm. It's not what I expected to happen. Okay, we do need the key. I guess one of several keys we've seen but couldn't reach. Well, downstairs is probably where the dungeon is. Where the mob ones are being held. Hmm. Back or forward? Oh. Oh, really? Well, that's interesting. That was faster than I expected. Okay, but it is possible to defend against it at least. Huh. Dang it. Well. Okay. Not a huge fan of the fact that it looks like we'll, we'll have to deal with three of these encounters here. Yeah, that was faster than last time, right? For example. Okay. Defend it against those. So, uh, at least it seems like, unless I somehow mess up royally, I, uh, I should come out of this fight without taking any damage. You know, which definitely makes up for the fact that I got uh, surprised to begin with. But yeah, those flyers are... They swoop down on you fast. Two star points. Okay. And you don't even get anything for these? Rough. Oh well. I guess it's unavoidable that we uh, get some kind of attack that we have to deal with. Unless I change to Goombario, which I arguably should. Really? Hmm. Okay. I didn't know the timing for that one, although I thought I pressed the button exactly as it hit me. But then... I occasionally miss it even for enemies that I think I know the timing. So. Yeah, definitely not worth it. So much for grinding any extra levels. Hello. Okay, you were a ground based one. That means we can actually. I mean, not that the other fights were difficult to deal with, but at least here we have a guaranteed easy victory. That's nice. If we don't really get anything out of it, other than, you know, being allowed to progress in the dungeon, I guess, that is something. But uh, yeah. fights might as well be easy to deal with. What? You got up? Despite being hit? I guess it's only jumping that keeps him stung up, okay. Good to know. Okay, now the door has come back down, where we can reach him. It's very nice. I hope this doesn't re-trigger if we ever have to uh, go through this room again, which we very much, very well might have to. Oh boy. That classic Mario obstacle, huh? Well, I thought I messed that up. Well. Okay, that was all for the key. Hmm. Okay, backwards is actually easier. Not that it was super hard on, on the way here, but you know. Okay, these enemies are, did not come back. That's much appreciated. There were no enemies here before, I think. Yeah. Let's see what's past here. Oh, just a 
No, not just a wall. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. Hello. Can I talk to you? Can you just blow this open? Huh, really? What do you think? Is the pink one going to be my companion? Well, if my theory is correct and we do get a bob -omb companion, then obviously that one's going to be it. Hmm. Well, we can't do anything here. Which is surprising, but okay. Maybe we'll have to somehow fall into there from above. Key should give us access to right above that room. So there is that. And I really wonder... I, obviously, it was possible to jump up those stairs while well, well, they were still on, right? Oh well, I'll never know, unless there is a way to raise them up again. Oh hey, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, that's just yellow, using his hyper speed. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Whoa, looks like Mario's here! Yeah, time to get out. Oh, okay. Don't know how he deduced that Mario was coming, but maybe he has very good hearing. There's another... wow. This, this castle is full of hidden or maybe not so hidden passages. That one over there look, looks like it might lead to some kind of optional secret. Most others are probably required to open at some point. This is definitely a little bit more involved than the uh, Goomba King's Fortress. I'll say that much. Hmm, I wonder if this is some kind of obvious trap. You know what? Does that block even look different? It has that um, the darker bottom. Maybe that's normal, I don't know. But it's definitely a trap, so... What? what? Why did Cooper just get startled and run back? Whoa! What? That's so unfair! Clicking off-screen shells? What is this, a Mario... Mario hack troll level? Really? I messed that up? Guess I did. I was so startled. I was so upset at that cheap trick. Wow. It's fine. There's definitely going to be a heal block somewhere coming up. No problem at all. Okay, at least we can check out this guy. These should be absolutely no problem whatsoever. Wonderful. Definitely not going to level up again in this fortress here. But we're getting some more money, which is decent, I suppose. I wonder what, what the max is. If it does go all the way to 999? Or even higher than that? Really? Oh, right. There were... Well, oh. Wait. Okay, so I guess this is where the, where the stairs would have led while they were up. So technically they shouldn't have led anywhere. It's interesting that we can just jump down here. Apparently. Or was that a way to jump up here early? No. I don't know. I'm not sure what that gap in the fence might be about. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Okay, and that's how we drop into the prison section. Well, drop. <laughs> Sail very gently down. Genius. <laughs> Loser! Serves you right! You fell for it! More like the game didn't give me a choice, but... Oh, hey, there's a save point, or a heal point. Unfortunately, not a save point, because if there were, I'd use it and end this episode, but we'll see. Oh, what was that? Where did that fall from? <laughs> uh, above, I'd say. Oh, I wonder what just fell, but aren't you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Yeah, it is, uh, seems like a coincidence, doesn't it? Who, me? My name's Bombette. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a Bob-omb. Pleased to meet you. Hey, pleased to meet you too. Oh, huh. a girl bob -omb. What do you know? What's that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace. At least those, uh, at least to these guys. Those uncouth Koopa bros. I was just one of many bob -omb's working here. 
But those Koopa Bros, once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. Okay, I guess that's it's canon that blowing up literally doesn't kill Bob-Ombs. Which is good to know, I suppose. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Koopa Bros didn't like it, so they locked me in here. And then they locked up the rest of the bob because they thought they might rise up. I mean, there are plenty of them patrolling the corridors, though. Unfortunately, they're not all locked up. You know, a bob rebellion. What do you think about that? Oh, sorry. Uh, it's a long story, I know. Anyway, Mario, we want to get out of here. Do you think you, can, you could help spring us out of this place or what? Pretty please? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. Sure. I don't know what I can do, though. I think I need your help first. Oh, how nice. We'll be good friends from now on. I can feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. Oh, and that's how we can join us. Perfect. Okay. Walk down to... Uh, walk down. Press down to make Bombat walk for a short time and then explode. She can destroy crack walls or rocks and activate switches. Okay, so she can basically do anything that Cooper can, but better. No, that's not true. She would not be able to cross any gaps, of course. But, uh, yeah, okay. While in battle, she can attack an enemy on the ground with her body slam ability. Not explode, okay. Or damage enemies on the ground with her bomb attack. Okay, I see. Hmm. So that's only on the ground. Hmm. Okay, I'll definitely give her a spin, that's for sure. Now, let's think of a way to get out of here. <gasps> yeah, I see the crack wall over there. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do. Silly me. My special... My specialty is exploding. Check this out. So you could have broken out of here all along. See? If there are any cracks in the wall, I can probably break it. Let me try this one. Puff, puff, puff. Take cover! Oh, okay. I'm supposed to actively do it. Oh, she does not walk very far. I see. Oops, and she just respawns. So I do that and then I walk away. I see. Whoa. So that little hiccup, that's okay. Just the shader loading, I guess. See that? Do you see what I bring to the party, Mario? Yeah, it's actually quite useful. Huh? Oh, an escape route! <laughs> How convenient! I wasn't even thinking of that. <sighs> I guess I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad I just blew up over and over in one place. Teehee! Okay, that was a little silly. Yeah, just a little. Well, anyway, we can get out now, right? And so can everyone else. Thank you, Mario. From now on, I'll take along and help you help out wherever I can. You just ask and I'll be there for you. I'll be there to blow myself up for you. Now, enough chit-chat. I have a little score to settle with those Koopa Bros. Yeah, you and me both. Alright, awesome. Hey guys, what about you? Let's get out of here. Yeah, I mean, you could. Or you could chill here for a little longer. I was sad, mad, but now glad. Freedom, yahoo! Okay, cool. All that thinking, and I never thought of blasting the wall. Hmm. You're pretty darn smart. Uh, well, I mean, if that's the standard here around here, then I guess I am. <laughs> Don't worry about us, Mario. We'll find a way out. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you'll figure something out at this point. Okay, camera pans around. Thank you. Uh, there was not a crack wall here. Nope. All right, awesome. Oh, of course. The chance for us to test our new companion in combat. What's all this noise? In case you bob forgot, exploding is prohibited inside the fortress exception, except in case of emergencies. What in the... Mario! What are you doing here? What, what do you think? Nothing good, I bet. Everybody get in! Well... I mean, this should be pretty, a pretty standard fight, although I don't know how... Well, I guess uh, combat can handle the bob remotely without... Well, obviously... Even if she gets damaged, I don't care, so long as Mario doesn't take damage. So it should basically work the same as with Cooper. Body slam. Hmm. Bomb also takes three. But she can Okay, that can only target the first enemy. That both can. Oh, what is that? Oh. Hold down. Okay, I read that too late. That's okay. So we got a new kind of special special meter action skill, I guess. 
Um, yeah, you'll have to wait though to avoid unnecessary damage. Although there is a healing point right here, which I suppose I might need to use. That's okay though. Okay. Body slam. There it tells you. Hold A down and release when it lights up. Okay. Okay. Don't know if that was successful. I might have waited a little bit too long again. Oh. And that does injure her. Well, that's pretty... Pretty mean, making me fight an enemy that, uh, well, get, basically giving me this intro fight to her, you know, introduction to her ability, but it, it actually gets her hurt. Hmm. Or maybe that was because I didn't successfully do the action command. I, don't know. I guess I'll try again. Nope, that certainly does blow her up. Maybe it's just the fact that, that she blows herself up. Oh, wait. What? Or... I can't tell now, of course, because the fight ended. If that was... Um... If she didn't get hurt, or if it was because the fight was over. Hmm. Well, I suppose I'll have to do some more testing. But... Oh. We're out of prison. We have our, the option to break open walls. And I don't remember... I don't remember if there were any any breakable walls over here. There, oh, there are these firewalls. That, oh. Okay, I'll take one look here. Oops. Did she just actually hop to avoid the fire? Oops, what am I doing? Mm, well, I mean, she's hopping. Okay, no, never mind. There's water around here. That's okay. There are no enemies on this road, so... Thankfully, thankfully it didn't take any, any time at all to check this. Well, we know that there was definitely a breakable wall upstairs and to the right. There were multiple cells to break open in this direction. I'd really like to take a break, and I, of course I could just do it, but I prefer to have a hard save. Hmm. Let's, let's see what's behind this wall. There might be a save room in there. Uh, well, it's... Oh, okay. Or it's just treasure. The refund badge. Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't Money doesn't seem like a big issue for now. But badge slots certainly are, so... Let's like, take a look. Oh, perfect. Okay, awesome. Literally perfect timing. Well, in that case, I'm going to take a break here. We're, I don't know, maybe halfway around, halfway through the fortress, roughly. Um, in any case, I thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.